Today on Funky Pearls Radio, we're exploring the remarkable story of the OJs, a group that has left an indelible mark on R&B and soul music with their harmonious sounds and timeless hits. Originating from Canton, Ohio, the OJs were initially formed as a quintet, later evolving into a trio during their most prominent recording years in the mid-1970s at Philadelphia International Records. The original lineup included Walter Williams, Bill Isles, Bobby Massey, William Powell, and Eddie Levert. The group, initially known as the Triumphs and later the Mascots, changed their name to the OJs in 1963 as a tribute to the local Cleveland radio DJ, Eddie OJ. Their early singles as the Mascots, including Story of My Heart and Lonely Rain, gained local traction and set the stage for their future success. The OJ's journey took a significant turn when they met producers Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. This collaboration led to the release of the album The OJs in Philadelphia in 1969, showcasing their early work under Gamble and Huff's guidance. Their big break came in 1972 with the single Backstabbers from the album of the same name, which became a massive hit. The group's success continued with the release of Ship Ahoy in 1973, featuring the iconic For the Love of Money and their live album The OJs Live in London in 1974. Albums like Survival and Family Reunion in 1975 further solidified their status in the R&B world with hits like I Love Music and Living for the Weekend. Tragedy struck with the passing of William Powell in 1977, but the group continued with Sammy Strain joining the lineup. Their subsequent albums, including Travelin' at the Speed of Thought, 1977, and So Full of Love, 1978, which featured Used to Be My Girl, continued to chart successfully. Throughout the late 70s and 80s, the OJs released several albums, including Identify Yourself, 1979, and My Favorite Person, 1982, showcasing their ability to evolve with the times. Their album, When Will I See You Again in 1983 was notable for its modern sound, further demonstrating their versatility. The OJs continued to release music into the new millennium, with albums like For the Love, 2001, and Imagination, 2004. Their contributions to music were recognized with inductions into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 2004 and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2005. In 2003, the OJs co-starred in the movie The Fighting Temptations, showcasing their talent beyond music. The group's ongoing influence and popularity were celebrated at the 2009 BET Award Show, where they were honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Despite challenges, including Walter Williams' battle with multiple sclerosis, the OJs have continued to inspire with their music and performances. Their latest albums, including Christmas with the OJs 2010 and The Last Word 2019, reflect their enduring appeal and legacy. As we honor the OJs on Funky Pearls Radio, we celebrate a group that has been the soundtrack to many lives, with songs that speak to love, struggle, and triumph. From their humble beginnings in Canton to the pinnacle of soul and R&B music, the OJ's journey is a testament to the enduring power of music to connect, uplift, and endure.